Yo, what is going on guys? Michael here from MP Fitness. Thank you for checking out the newest video to the channel. Today, we are talking top three pre-workouts for teenagers. So I have this video right over here that gets at least five to six comments a day from guys that are starting to train. They're, you know, they always say 13, 14, 15, whatever their age is, what pre-workouts they should take, if they should take it at all. It's so subjective and it's so like individualized, but I am going to give you guys my top three pre-workouts for teenagers teenage guys or whatever. Teenagers, beginners, whatever, whatever, whatever. So let's go ahead and dive into that video right now. All right guys, so before we get into the video, just remember pre-workouts definitely are not necessary, especially for beginners and teenagers. Focus on nutrition and structure of the workouts. Make sure you're not like, I get messages being, with kids literally being like, you know, I work out three to four hours a day, seven days a week. I'm getting tired at the end of the workouts. And I'm like, yeah, you should be getting tired. So that's, a, that's way too much. You know, make sure the structure of your workouts are appropriate. It, don't do too much too soon. Build, progressive overload, all that fun stuff before deciding to take any kind of supplements, whether it's creatine, pre-workouts. You know, if you're gonna take anything first, protein, and then go from there. All right, guys, so these are not gonna be in any order. So don't worry about three, two, one. These are just what I would recommend if you haven't tried them yet. So so the first one we're gonna talk about is going to be Ghost Legend. Why Ghost Legend? Well, I'm gonna break down the nutrition facts for you guys right now. The citrulline is on point, gives you that pump. The beta alanine is good. You get a little bit of a focus, just a little bit, but the caffeine and the stimulants aren't overbearing. If you're like a 14 year old, man, you don't need DMAA. You don't need a 500 milligram pre-workout to have a good, awesome workout. You guys are young. You should not be tired in the gym. Also, you don't need to be doing three, eight, four hour workouts. Get in, get out, hour and a half, maybe two at the very most. So Ghost, once again, it's been around for a minute. They are super hot. They have a ton of collabs. Their flavors are incredible. There's probably the best tasting pre-workouts I've ever had in Ghost. And then once again, everything is lined up perfectly and the stims are not crazy whatsoever. So that's the first one that we're talking about. All right, guys, up next we have Chris Bumstead's Savage. So this guy right here, I did a review on this guy. I got popped up right over here for you guys, maybe like two months ago. So this guy, perfect amount of citrus. For, for young guys. The beta alanine's on point. Beta 9 Andrus gives you a little bit more power in the gym. You got like 2.5 grams of that. The one thing that I really liked about this is that it only had 260 milligrams of caffeine and 100 milligrams of that dicaffeine mallet, which is that slow release. You really don't need any more than that. You can split this up into one and two scoops. Try one and go from there. It should give you a awesome kick in your, in your workout. Once again, you don't need 500 milligrams of something to 500 milligrams of stims to have a good pre-workout. You don't need a ton of citrulline and all this other stuff. You've got, you're, your bodies are just developing. You don't need to add to, like, most of, most of you guys aren't even eating properly, not even working out with proper structure and form. So throwing, you know, $50 into a pre-workout isn't necessarily a smart thing to do. Number one, it's not really number one, it's just what I, last one I'm gonna recommend is Gorilla Mode. So this right here, everything on it from citrulline all the way down to the Hooperzine A is perfectly, perfectly dosed. You get so much citrulline. It might be a little too much citrulline actually if you're a teenager. So maybe go like half a scoop on this, but it hits perfectly. It's not overstimmed. I feel like a lot of these uh, companies like Gorilla Mode is more plates, more dates. It's not a crazy amount of stimulants. Same with HTLT. It's not a ton of stimulants. It is really focusing on the quality of the ingredients, that's the one thing that all of these companies have and all these products have, is the quality of all of their stuff is pretty awesome. You get some of these companies, you just don't know what's in it. Like, what was it, Alpha Lion. I feel like the quality, like you read the nutrition facts and it looks perfect. You know, six milligrams of citrulline, perfect amount of beta alanine. All this stuff is like perfect. You try it and nothing hits. You get no pump, no energy, no focus. The quality ingredients are pretty bad in a lot of these supplements. But for, for these three right here, they're safe, they're effective. Try it if you haven't done so already. I've done reviews on all of these. So I'm gonna pop them up somewhere over here and also gonna put the link in the description so you guys could actually see the full video, the full breakdown, which I give the intro workout rating and everything else. So thank you guys for checking out this video. If you haven't done so yet, hit that subscribe button and hit that bell. That way when you hit that bell, you get notified when we actually drop these videos. So I appreciate all the support guys and I'll catch you guys next time.